Donahue believes NYC Pride is fearful that Catholic League supporters could overwhelm the Gay Pride Parade, which is held on the last weekend in June. What if instead of getting 100 people, what if I get 3,000 people? What if we begin to overwhelm their parade and veto their message? They know what's at stake, he said. They had a chance already to unequivocally answer me, and they're not doing that. They're dancing on the head of a lawyer's pin. We'll find out. Donahue insisted the controversy surrounding the St. Patrick's Day parade is not being promoted by all gays, but rather an elite group of high-powered liberals with an agenda. There's not enough gays that they lined up single file to pull off this nonsense. It's supported by the Tony Corporate Boys and Girls at Guinness, and the Georgetown People, Park Avenue, Madison, Wisconsin, Hollywood People, he said. Guinness, along with fellow brewers Heineken and Samuel Adams, pulled out of sponsorship of the St. Patrick's Day Parade because of organizers' refusal to allow gays to march under their own banner. Donahue says he will boycott the beers. You know who I'm talking about, the elite. It's the cultural elite, said Donahue. They think it's cheap to be involved with gay rights causes. They cross the line on this one. All we want to do is have a St. Patrick's Day parade which honors St. Patrick's and you want to crash it with your own agenda. As I've said before, pro-NRA Catholics, pro-life Catholics, they are not welcome to march under their own banner. Ditto for gays, 